Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. I have a praise report I wanted to tell you all about. It was six, uh, Saturday and Sunday. Saturday was 65 degrees here in Carrollton, Ohio. And uh, my neighbor, that's a bricklayer by trade, and he does other carpentry odd jobs. Because right now he's been out of work because of this COVID. And uh, he offered to uh, replace my porch roof uh, for cheaper than what a contractor would do it for. Well, I was able to purchase uh, some metal roofing from an Amish, um, well, this Amish man that lives down in Peoli, Ohio, makes the makes this uh, out of his barn, and the good sheets he sells for twenty dollars a sheet, and the scraps five dollars a sheet. Well, these ones here were smaller than uh, what I really needed, but he thought maybe what I bought of him for $30, I bought 10 41 inch wide by 30 inches long sheets that worked out just right in the front over my front door going three sheets down but then I didn't have enough of the black these black ones to really finish the job so Friday the uh, man was uh, here and uh, tore off all the uh, wood that was on my porch roof here and uh, as you can see it's all metal now it's all metal well I the wood slats I had to buy some of those brand new and then sorry the hardware store wasn't open by the time I got back with some more metal roofing but like I was saying, um, the uh, guy started with the sheets right here and right here above my door here. But then he really didn't think there was been enough of those black ones to finish it. Well, he came back. Actually, he did only three. He did... Uh, two there and one here on Saturday after knocking off all the old roof it got late and he came back Saturday when it was raining and finished putting the other three sheets on here then it had cleared up in the afternoon and I drove down to the Amish farm and talked to him down there told him that the guy you know working on this didn't think really I had enough of the black ones I've got off of him uh, to finish the job so I got four 41 inches wide by seven feet long metal roofing they're all different colors on top basically there's still some of the brown or tan whatever you want to call that color on top and white here below then these ones here is black below are um, actually uh, white on top and then still right here had uh, another one that was kind of 
on the end had a flaw so it really didn't want to reach over all the way with that flaw so the guy did finish off at the very end here with three sheets of those black ones that I got there the thing is the four sheets of seven foot long by 41 foot wide that I got Saturday from the Amish farm gentleman down there in Peoli he uh, gave me these sheets he gave them to me I didn't have to pay him anything he said that he's blessed so he's blessing me and since I couldn't finish like using all the ones I did buy of him he's just giving me those so all in all with material I got eighty dollars into the material and I paid uh, my neighbor hundred fifty dollars to do the work that's all he wanted I offered him more but that's all he wanted so I am very blessed with only having really to pay two hundred and thirty dollars to do this whole roof on my porch You know, no contractor would do that. They want their money. And I think everybody is made on money. Even a lot of uh, Christians, or so called Christians, think that's all you should do is make money, 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 money. The root, the, mo the love of money is the root of all evil. Yes, we need money to buy and sell. But when you let that money control you, control your love for your brethren, then your love is in money, not, not what Jesus Christ said. Jesus Christ said, you, they will know you for the love that you have for one another. Love is talks louder than money does. And I've been loved and blessed and even though some people don't think I am because some people think that this is not the kind of a home to live in. But you know what? A home is what you make of it. If you make it out of money, that's all it's going to be. Money. Nothing else. It's not going to be out of love. My home is made out of love. And if you don't like that, I don't care. You need to grow up and start loving instead of uh, condemning but a lot of you people on the internet, that's all you love to do is to, to condemn somebody that you think isn't doing what you think they should be doing. And somebody has started back up again. But you know what? I'm not going to let it bother me. Because they're fooling themselves. People that are fooling themselves are not worthy of my time. I don't make videos very often, but when I do, I know I get criticized for it because I don't make videos the way they think I should make videos. I don't care. Well, my ink from my printer came a little bit ago, so I gotta get that in the house. And, uh,. Get this video uploaded before I go to the grocery store. God bless you. Have a blessed day.